Hello, I'm Jason Torchinski here at Prudential Center where the New Jersey Devils have kindly invited me to do something that I and every living American has been wanting to do since they were children, and that's to drive a Zamboni ice resurfacing machine. So this sweet little two-seater open-top roadster I'm in front of is actually a 2006 Zamboni ice resurfacer. I'm told from an unauthorized biography of, of Frank Zamboni that the idea for the Zamboni device came when he had a vision, like a dream, of a hippopotamus walking along ice and slowly urinating as he crossed over the ice. And then the sheet formed by the hippopotamus urine smoothed the ice and he kind of woke up and had a vision and built the first prototype Zamboni. Now you'll notice some few things about the Zamboni design. And for one thing you'll notice on the x-axis it actually has kind of classic sports car proportions. A long hood, a short rear deck, minimal overhangs. But then you look at the y-axis and it has the classic dimensions of like a, a warehouse or a garden shed. It's tall. This whole part here is a huge hopper for snow and there's a giant water tank here. It's 10,000 pounds of water and ice on studded tires with a blade at the back that's the second sharpest industrial blade used in anything. And driving all that weight, inside here is a Nissan two and a half liter gasoline engine. And the truth is though, I don't really know a hell of a lot about Zamboni ice resurfacing machines, but I'm standing five feet away from someone who does, Nick Kryshek, who is the head ice, re ice technician, right? Yes. Head ice technician here at Prudential Center. When you are driving the Zamboni out in the ice, yep. what exactly are you doing other than having a blast? This machine is basically cutting and picking up the, sh the ice shavings. Okay. It is washing the surface of the ice and creating slush to fill in the ruts created by the skaters. Okay. And it is laying a clean sheet of ice behind it. So there's like four or five totally separate systems happening in this thing at once when you're driving it around there. Yep. And I noticed there is a crap load of controls and levers and dials on there. Why don't we, why don't we go over and climb in and you can start showing me how to drive this thing. All right, so sitting in here, I see some things that are familiar to me as a automobile piloter. There's a lot of other stuff here I'm not quite used to. What is all this stuff? Everything that we need to turn on the machine is directly in front of you. You, okay. have, you have your gauges. Mm -hmm. On this particular machine, there is no lever to raise or lower RPMs. So wait, so this thing that looks like a gas pedal in front it's of me. Not, not a really ga a gas pedal. Okay. We are gonna put our RPMs up a certain point to drive it, and then we would put it to a higher level for the cutting process. When we're driving, we can't get as close to the boards to pick up all that snow. So we have an right. instrument called a board brush to help us ah. get the snow off the boards to put it into the machine to be taken away. The icon looks sort of like a bell with a hammer wedged through it. You would, unless you were looking directly at that brush, you'd have no idea what the hell this thing was. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah. And then we got your, the lever, which has one of my favorite pieces of iconography, the rabbit or turtle kind of thing. So it's got two stages. So like yes. halfway and then, ah. Full on. And same with. Same with So forward. you control speed like that as yes. well. Yes, yes. I but see. But we wouldn't want to touch that during. While we're driving. While we're driving, yeah. The two screw-like yeah. items, those are the auger controls. One is for the vertical, one is for the horizontal. Oh, I see, I see, okay. And okay. these turn and them on and off? flip back and forward. What this is, is the blade control. Uh, okay, and this is okay. the thing, if, if you so, were going to murder someone with a Zamboni, this is the tool you're going to use. We wouldn't do that, Jason. No, of course we wouldn't. These are water controls. This is hot water. Okay. This is cold water. Oh, that's fun. What's that for? Oh, that's satisfying. It's all springy and loud. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> when we're cutting, yeah. and the augers are doing what they need to do, yeah. and the horizontal auger is trying to throw snow into the vertical auger, Okay. There's a lot of snow going there, so what ends up happening is it can get jammed up. This 
breaks that up. One thing I should mention, yes. outside of you still trying to figure out that foot pedal situation, yeah. do not steer with the wheel itself. Steer with the knob. The knob. It's so very, don't hold the do, you will not be able to turn it with that. So if we're getting a little close to the boards, don't it's do really not a good idea to use the wheel. Now when you use drive, the you, knob. you just hold the knob? We just hold the knob. But we would hold it with our left hand. Because you so want this we have hand to control for everything else. I know these are all important, but if I'm not supposed to be using them when I'm actually out there in the ice, I, you maybe, know what? I I have said too much already. Yeah, we maybe, should, maybe we should just, just let drive. you drive. Yeah. All right, let's drive. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, just stay on it. You know, once you're on the ice, the weird throttle setup makes more sense. Okay, so when I want to stop here, I just let off the throttle. Oh man, it just stops lightly. Lightly. <laughs> Lightly. Okay. Now let's put it in drive. All right. All right. Here we go. And then. Nice and easy. All right. Easy on the throttle thing there or the whatever. Go. There we go. All right. Now a little bit harder on it. There we there go. There we yeah. go. Nice and steady. This is All pretty right. great. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun, right? It is fun. Wind in your hair. It is. It's like having an incredibly <laughs> slow and bulky Miata. Yep. Oh, okay. but the turning circle is nice. You can really whip on through here. Yep. And can we do donuts in the middle? No. Okay, just <laughs> No, we cannot. <laughs> now, your visibility is not great over this hood. Like well, this you're corner. also probably sitting back further than you should be. And I'm pretty short. Yeah, that, that doesn't help but you, either. But you, uh, you can see over the top there? Yes. When we're driving, we have our strong side, which is the driver's side, because okay. you can see everything that's happening. Yeah. But when we come back down the other side, it's completely blind. Yeah. You can't see anything. No. So. Those ridges kind of give you a help hit. you line up with wherever your edge of your water line is. See, okay. now I'm driving this and having a pretty good time, but you guys do this. Your whole other hand is operating these controls. You're having yep. to think through things like that. It, it, it becomes second nature. Yeah, this so part we're not must really be no, but conscious. even the instruments. Oh, For really? Us, the instruments become second nature. You don't even think about it. It's just you know where it is. So this is like a big prosthetic for you. This is an extension of your body it, that it resurfaces become, ice. I am one with my Zamboni. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let off the throttle and see how he's. Oh, you stopped pretty quick. Considering we're on ice, that's yep. insanely quick. All right, I'm gonna go back on, so hold yep. on. There you go. So now, but now look at the marks left in my eyes. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, I'm trashing your ring. Uh. I'm going to try to line well, you this You want to do figure eights before you go out? Oh, all right, all right let's do it. Yeah, let's, let's do go. some figure eights. All right, yeah. that's a good time. All right, so now just cut across yeah. and then loop back around to your left side. All right. Because that's a little bit different. Okay. All right. There we go, and then loop back around. So now turn to your left. Turning's a little bit different to this side. Yeah, it is. A little bit more slide, a little oh, fish tail. Oh, yeah. Counter yeah, steering. Yeah, nice. Nicely there done. You Right? Yeah. So a lot different than turning it to is. the left. No, it makes a big difference. Plus, it's all open here. Yep. And fishtail it again. You go. really want to do that donut, don't you? I, it feels <laughs> it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of fun. We did uh, oversteer and fishtail a little bit about there. Yep. And when I let off the throttle here, we did come to a halt really quickly. And that's because we have huge studs in these tires compared to like road tires. Yeah, compared to road tires, they're decent size. When we're driving regular, the stud marks are going to be just the size of the stud. But when you start to fishtail, they this get really great. wide because they're hopping across uh, the ice. Let's head back to the Zamboni corner. Okay. Let's take a nice wide turn. We good? Uh, yeah, you should be. Yeah, it looks good here. Make sure that you're not. I think gonna it's going to. Yeah, it's going to clear. It should be fine. And I'm clearing on this side. We go stop here, lower the RPMs. Okay. Down to 10. Lower. Yep, down to 10. Let's put it in neutral. And now we turn her off. Thank you. Pretty cool, right? That's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. That was great. Make sure you're staying at the same pace. Right. Oops, sorry about that. I was Thanks gonna... for the heads up there. Sorry. Because <laughs> this is referring to this tank here, and I thought that would be. 
Yep. No, it's opposite. I'll write a stern letter to the Zamboni Corporation and see if we can't flip those icons you around. You do that. Because I'm going to finally get to drive a Zamboni ice resurfacer. Machine. <laughs> Why didn't they label these? I mean, they're labeled. But this doesn't look anything like what I would consider hot or cold. Like, it's a droplet over like what looks like a dumpster, and the other one's that impeller thing over a dumpster. Maybe you should call Zamboni. Since we're backing onto the ice, you want to put that in reverse. And what about the cameraman on the hood? Should I worry about him? No. All right, we'll just go in reverse. <laughs> Gently put your foot on the pedal. Oh, oh, okay.